The Outlook has the shakes. This is our 2008 Saturn Outlook. Uh, we've had it about 3,000 miles. Um, it's a runaround car for the kids. It uh, has started to shutter at low RPMs um, just before the transmission shifts. If you shift it manually using the manual matic mode, it seems to shift fine if we keep the RPMs higher. Uh, but particularly at lower RPMs, it shutters. I did uh, buy LubeGuard Instant Shutter Fix and give that a try and it didn't work. Um, I'm concerned it could be the torque converter going bad, or it likely is the torque converter going bad, but as a last ditch effort here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a drain and fill on the transmission just to see if that makes any difference and see if it helps. There is really very limited details out there on serviceability of these six-speed transmissions in these vehicles. Uh, the filter is permanent. You have to take the transmission out to change the filter. So from the top here, Transmission fill cap is right on top here. I'll just go ahead and pull that out. And you can see the fluid really looks pretty nice and clean. Um, there's a little bit of sediment maybe, or darker color towards the top there, but it really looks pretty nice. We're gonna drain it into a clear plastic container so we can see what it looks like. But it's just that little tiny plug right there. Nice thing is you can reach it from the front of the car just on the garage floor. We have another truck on the lift. I didn't want to bother with that, so we'll try this here. There's also a zip tie right here. I wonder what that's for. Obviously, the transmission's been oozing a little bit, but this is a cheap car that the transmission may be near end of life here. So let's see if this is seized or how bad it is here. Mm, too bad. Well, it looks dirtier than I thought. That's pretty dark. We've drained out kind of as much as it will. Kind of go ahead and put the plug back in. So the way it works on these, drain it and then you refill it. And you drive it for a few hundred miles and then you drain it and fill it again. See how, well as I'm pouring it, you see how clean and what it's supposed to look like. Like red Kool-Aid. I should have mentioned this uses Dexron 6. This is just a cheap Sitco. Do it properly, we'll end up flushing it again. So some people will use cheap stuff for the first couple flushes. Out comes the funnel. And put back in the cap. And we'll take it for a drive. So it typically only shutters after it warms up, so we will drive for a while and see if it shutters. Purposely bogging down the transmission a little bit.
module had the right rear, rear wheel bearing going bad and I also suspect the timing chain was going bad. I also forgot to mention that uh, the door which was broken uh, you saw in the video and the uh, I did get the latch working again but we had to disconnect the wiring in order to make it not jam. Uh, we fixed that in the same easy step as well. So in just a minute we'll show you what that cure is for a Saturn Outlook transmission and amounts of other problems. All right, so let's get out and show you the easy repair for all those problems. So if you look at the car here, what we did first was we took off the roof rack, the crossbars and the roof box, and then we jacked up the car at all four corners, unbolted the tires and wheels, took those off, and then switched out the body, the red one for the gray one, and then put the wheels and tires back on, the roof rack and the roof box back on, and all of our problems were solved. So if you need any more tips on how to repair Saturn Outlooks, stay tuned to our channel, and we'll see if we come up with any more.